guys, welcome to my 15th computer science tutorial and what we are going to do is we're going to do the part 2 of logic gates because it is quite a big topic and yeah look I drew a part 2 how fancy is that a part 2 with a box around it now what we're going to do today is more complex looking stuff here now Remember how we had the symbols over here, as you can see, the symbols of not, and, or, or, and how it changes the things and how it requires two, um, true inputs, true, two ones, in order to create a output one. Now, here it is actually quite a little bit, um, complex. Now, as you can see here, this is an AND gate. Now we can label all these inputs as X, Y, Z and stuff like that. So I'm going to label them like this. X, uh, Y, name this. let's name this, Z, A, and B. Now I've named all my inputs like this. You can name them whatever you want. And what we can do here now is, let's look at this. Now, let's put our things here first in order to read things. All you need to do is follow it. Now, if you input X and Y in it, it's all algebra, remember? It will actually create, remember, an AND thing, X dot Y thing over here. So you can label it if you want to. I'll label it for clarity's sake. Look at that, we have an X over Y here. And then we can move down to the NOT gate. So you can see Z, right? So we can put um, a NOT gate sign Z, and remember it's this weird bar thing over here. And we can do it like this. A Z with a little hat on it, it looks quite cute. Now here we have an OR gate. Now remember the OR gate is a X plus Y. It's not actually X plus Y, it just means it's X or Y. Now, let's do x plus y here. No, actually, in our case, it's a plus b, so... I'm sorry, guys. Um, so it's a plus b. Now let's move on to the, this one. Now, this is an OR gate, remember. So then if it's x... Okay, so it's either x and y and z not Z, and then we put it in an OR gate. Now, this will look a little bit more complicated now. As you can see, it's X and Y, of course, and we can put in brackets, and then we can see it's an OR gate, right? No, actually, it's an AND gate. Yes, it's an AND gate. Now, I'm going to use the other way of using AND to make it look cooler. We can do AND there, and then we can have Z in brackets, like that. And that basically means the at... Okay, this is an... Dude, I drew at the wrong area. Damn. Wow, it's there! I'm sorry, guys. So, um, it basically means X and Y, because it's the output here, but it's the input here. It's the output from this area, but it's the input from this area. So, X and Y and Z, not Z, will be our input for this. No, it'll be our output, but these are our inputs. Now, let's take a look at this area. Now we have, this is our input. Now, this is our input, right? Oh, this is our input. Now, in the input, what we can do is, we can do this. We can basically see that that is one of the inputs, so we just write them now. So x point y like this and this is actually an or right okay so let's cross it out and do a plus so plus and then we can put z in brackets over z and now because this is an and gate we can draw a dot here for and for this and because this is the input and then we're gonna do a plus B. Alright. Now, as you can see, this is the output of this because these are the inputs. Okay? And then after that, what do we do? 
there's a NOT gate here. Now what do we do there? We can do this. Because it has the input here, right? It will invert the input. Now as you can see, let's do x, y, plus z over. Now we can put the brackets. And then point here, and then a plus b. Now we want to display that it is the inverted version. So we can do square brackets you ever done math before and then you can do the complement in it if you ever done it math you can know that complement is just the one over there now this is quite complex but all you need to do is go through all the gates very slowly and then you will end up with this thing this mumbo jumbo that you will come out and that I think I'll end it here for now and I'll see you guys next time peace Oh,